Let's take a look at replacing the mass airflow sensor on this GM vehicle with a 3100 3.1 liter engine. Now if you're like me and a lot of other technicians, you open up the package when you receive your brand new mass airflow sensor and go, wow, this really doesn't look the same as, as the unit I took off the vehicle there. This must be wrong and of course you send it back to the parts person and uh, ask for a different unit. Well, this is an updated design. And so, as I mentioned, this is a brand new unit. This is not remanned or reconditioned, but rather a brand new updated design unit. And so, as you see, it's a complete housing here with a sensor. And there's also an adapter here to make sure it plugs into the existing connector on the vehicle. So, let's get started on replacing this. Really, it's pretty straightforward. You may choose to open up the air box here, which isn't a bad idea because we're always going to want to install a brand new air filter to protect our mass airflow sensor. But essentially, we need to loosen a couple of clamps here and loosen the connectors here that are holding the mass airflow sensor in place. So once we get those loose, we can kind of work this around back and forth, use our screwdriver a little bit, try and pop the boots off here as well. And get it off of the air box. So you can see with not too much of a struggle, I was able to pull that out of there. Now, I'm gonna pull this collar off the old unit and slide it back on the air box. You might be able to see there's some grooves in here. And so it's nice to get that installed back on the air box. So we've got a good seal. align all the alignment tabs so everything is installed in place. Then we're going to take our new mass airflow sensor and you'll notice right here on the body of it there's an arrow indicating airflow direction. We want to make sure we follow that. If we put it in the other way you'll notice that there's not a diverter screen as we have here. And so it's going to get some skewed readings if we put it in backwards. Always make sure to follow the arrow. It's going to indicate the airflow direction. So as I pull this back, we'll slide this into place. We can work it back and forth here, but once we get it snugged into place, I'll now take my screwdriver again and tighten up the clamps. Make sure that we have no air leaks or any unmetered air going around the mass airflow sensor into the engine. That would result in some fuel trim issues and possibly some trouble codes. So once we've got it tightened down, I can now plug in the electrical connector and really that's it. If there are any trouble codes set, and it, it's a good idea to erase those. Also, it's not a bad idea to go in and clear out the fuel trims. Who knows what happened with this dirty, contaminated and faulty mass airflow sensor previously. Once we reset the fuel trims, the car is ready to go.